Hi, welcome to the intro to Clipboard. Let's take a look at how it works. So, here's our Clipboard panel. We've got copy, you can copy comps, layers, and keys. We have a paste button, and here we've got our file path. This is the transfer directory. You'll need to set this to a common network location for each of your machines across your network. All right, let's jump in and copy something. So, got this nice cube animation. Say someone else in your studio wants to use that. They want to throw it into one of their scenes. They want to put it into one of their comps. Rather than having to save it out, all you do, select comp, press copy. On their end, all they do, press paste. Simple as that. Their comp is now in your scene. You've got all the assets with it. You can do what you like with it. You can change this. Everything still works. All right. Now, say you just say you don't want to copy a whole comp. Maybe we just want to copy a few layers. This person's already got a scene set up. They're quite happy with how this is looking. Got some lines. Here's our scene. We've got text animation. We've got a lot of other stuff happening. Maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe the other person only really wants to copy the text. So let's grab the text. Set clipboard to layers. Press copy. Now, your colleague in the studio, all they need to do is press paste. And suddenly, they've got your layers. Maybe they forgot something. Maybe they do actually like this little dot that's flying around. Let's grab him. So, select the dot. Copy. Jump back into this comp. Paste. Now we've got that little fella in there too. Done. And last but not least, let's look at keyframes. So, say you've got an animation like this, then they look over and see you've animated something a bit more fancy, star happening. If you want to transfer that across, grab your position. You want to select the whole channel, not just the keyframes. Only works one channel at a time. Keys, copy. On the other end, select the same channel, paste. Override existing keys, yes. And now, same animation happening, transferred across the network. Simple as that. And now you're probably wondering, what if you've got a fairly decently sized studio, you've got multiple people copying and pasting, how do we keep track of who's pasting what and where things are coming from? Quite simple. If you have multiple people that have copied, when you press paste, you'll get this list of who has been copying and who you want to paste from. So here we've got Fred, James, Matt, and Sarah. And it tells us Fred's copying layers, James is copying comps, Matt's copying keys, and Sarah's copying layers. So you have the option of who you want to paste from, and you can actually see quite clearly uh, what exactly they're trying to do. That about covers it. Hope you find it helpful, and uh, hope it saves you some time transferring files across your studio. Cheers.